idiot with the under like <clears throat> on TV I saw a police officer aim and shoot three people and they fell down and died live on Citizen TV. So and still people were storming in and going in. And then these people actually and I got people who told me Nini Metuzoya. Uh, you guys, you know, when I walked up to the, uh, to the embassy, the one thing that I expected was just our okay, the normal 10 people when we usually do a demonstration. Or usually 10. Uh, for me, I was actually debating on going to Cape Fear. Not debating, I was planning on going to Cape Fear. I was actually telling how Omosh to pick me up on the way. Then Ali told us that there's a demonstration. And then I was like, nah, if Ali is doing a demonstration, he's not going to be there by himself. So I told Omosh who under Cape Fear, I mean, that this guy DC could demonstrate. And, uh, the demonstration are actually quite, as in, they're quite for themselves. And for me, uh, when I reached DC, uh, a big smile just hit my face. I was proud. I saw a lot of people. And I can tell you the older people who are like me, Ali, my Nakiai, Steve. I think we were less than 10 at first. When uh, At first, we were less than 10. Everybody else were new people, new blood, new faces. And it was just exciting. I was like, yeah, this is... I felt a, I felt a very huge pride out of it. Now, uh, from a statement on Citizen, um, you know, I got, I, got, I, got a, I, got a, I got a mixed bag of reactions. I got a mixed bag of people who say thank you for speaking up, thank you for saying what you're saying, I think that's good. And then I got people who told me, Nini Metuzoea. Uh, and uh, obviously for me it was like yo uh like you don't run a country like a kiosk on how you want you cannot just be oppressing people how you want and um, there's something that Kevin said uh, was, it, was it Robert or Kevin who said that when those people were running into bullets, they were tired because if you compare this with Reggae Mondays, right? You remember Reggae Mondays used to start with a lot of hula balu, but then by the time when Pali and Arushi and Atiagas Namawe, it will last like 30 minutes and it's over. People have gone, they've moved to another area, they're moving around, right? Because those were paid people. The most majority of those were paid goons. The people who have been paid were normal. This one was actually people who were coming to protest out of their own free will, out of their own tiredness. That is why people were murdered. That is why we had snipers. I've never heard of snipers in a protest anywhere. Never. A sniper shot somebody with a 50 cal. The head under like <clears throat> on TV I saw a police officer aim and shoot three people and they fell down and died live on Citizen TV so and still people were storming in and going in and then these people actually saw an MP who was disabled and helped him out of parliament it shows you that they did have any bad they were not coming there with bad intention they were coming there with a message they wanted to push a message and they wanted to pull it up and for me I believe that as the older generations who most of our actions or in actions that brought the country to where it is, we really need to stand up for this. We really need to stand up for these kids and what they're fighting for. That's really. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mika. And, uh, and I believe also uh, Omosh Fire, uh, you know, very powerful coming from Mika. I believe also, I believe also Omosh Fire is also uh, tuned in. Uh, Poleni Sana Apo on that, uh, those sounds coming in. Uh, but uh, Omosh Fire, uh talk to us uh you did not have a chance to come to the protest but you were following this uh keenly uh from <coughs> uh from wherever you are you were among the people who went out to keep fear uh did you much fire talk to us uh 
Yes, loud and clear, loud and clear. Twenty cars. Excellent. So, um, hey, Maze, um, I feel butterflies. Uh, and you, you know, uh, Ali, when we got the message on, I think it was uh, it was Friday. I think Friday Asubui. But then we had planned to to you know to attend the Cape Fear. So I guess we basically split. Uh, we split personnel where na um when I'm Mika Molikana, I Uno to Lienda, Cape Fear. So we represented on both ends uh, of the uh, pendulum, both Kenyan events, uh, and needed our presence. But more so, what I saw with the generations, with with the people coming out, the kids who are born here who have no clue, they've always known of Kenya where you go to see Gukan Shosho, and they are wearing their Kenyan paraphernalia, and they are there chanting, and they are being part of this process. So should I say that, uh, you know, uh, being there and getting to know what's what's happening from a, a civic, you know, your civic duty, other than voting, you know, that to me was so powerful and is so powerful, and uh, I can't wait to see what this, the type of leaders that this generation is going to have when they're sitting in parliament or making laws or policies for the rest of us. And uh, I see a time when this country of ours, Kenya, is going to be is not going to have corruption and it will have processes uh, and policies and laws that are followed and that work. So for me, that's the goal. If we can get that, then we have done our duty, we have done our job. And so whatever it takes for me to be part of the process, Nikoapa.